In a world with many similarities to our own, there lies two planets that are both experiencing societal turmoil. One of them, the planet Remus, there lies a town named Hazel that is on the outskirts of one of the busiest cities on the planet. While society is strained with cultural change, in this town, there are beings that no one has seen struggle not to be found as time goes on. The following is the story of some of the people who end up finding them through no fault of their own. This is Hazeltown Story. Kind of are like looking at it. You you see something that looks like a residue of some sort, uh, and you take it out. Like you look at it, you kind of just do the thing where you kind of press your finger against it and kind of just look at it. And to you, it just kind of seems like dirt. But you kind of poke at it with the magic sensor again and find that, yeah, it is actually the same thing that was causing the signal to go weird. Okay, so we got some weird magic dirt. Okay. Did they tell you anything about where this came from? Nah, they didn't say anything about it. Mm. Or that, or that I'd gather it wouldn't be that big if it was be, being able to be stored in there. Tell uh, me, friend, I... who's in charge of overseeing this space? On the Cassiopeian end. On the Cassiopeia end, um, I guess my contact, like, if you want to, like, who are you thinking of talking to? Like, who are you, who do you think would be, a, like, the person that you're kind of, like, want to send you the right person? In charge of the space. Um, like, who does the meetings down here, or who is, like... Who is in charge of overseeing the Cassiopeian goods here? Uh, let's see. Um, okay, let me look for... Do, do, do. I'm going to. I'm going to. Um. All right. Um. God. Uh. It, Ember thinks it was like. Yeah, that would probably be. Yeah, that would be Byron. I believe his name is. I'm not super familiar with. We talked a few times. I kind of try and keep that kind of stuff on the down low. Do you, have a of, do you have a way of contacting him? Uh. I think I might, um, I might have it in my office. Uh, I can go get it for you and then get you some sort of, uh, get you some sort of way of contacting them. Thank you. That would be most helpful. One more thing before you go, though. Is this oh, the only way in and out, in and out of the room? Or yes. at the door? Uh, mm -hmm. there is, there is a service elevator, but that's pretty well guarded. Or it's pretty mm -hmm. well in the open, so I don't know. It would almost be, if you're looking for a quieter way of getting in, like, the staircase is infinitely easier, even when a right. busy night. All right, well, thank you. No problem. All right, once they're gone, Bobby will investigate the door for signs of a uh, break-in. Uh, you don't see anything out of the order. Like, it, it's... Mm. How about the staircase? Uh, you don't see anything, like, some that look... You don't see anything that doesn't look like normal wear and tear. All right. I guess Bobby will head back in the room and say... Well, they broke in here and they didn't leave any marks. You got a baggie we can transport that residue in? Not on hand, I guess. Can we just take this Tupperware? It's a oh, pretty sh big thing. It was a storage. Surely there must be, like, plastic bags around there somewhere. You you might be able to, like, consolidate some of the drug stuff. That's not, like, you know, powder. You, you, you find something that can take a little bit of it. All right. Yeah, we'll just wait for uh, Ember to come back then. Yep. Uh, after a little bit, Ember comes back down and and gives you a business card that is like, "All right, I wrote down, I wrote down his number here. Uh, I don't have an address, but I know his name is Byron." Thank you. You've been most helpful. Uh, one more thing before we go: some of the other Cassiopeia members said they had been getting hassled by some random people. Do you know anything about that? Well, I have heard, or I was hearing that apparently some. I was hearing some things from my bouncers that they've had to uh, escort some people out of the building, uh, but nothing that I've personally seen. Which bouncers are they working tonight? Um. Uh. Yeah. They. They are. Oh, I was like, they. T they tell you some names and that they're. They were working. All right. Mind if we talk with them? Uh. Sure. I don't mind. Thank you, sir. I might have to. I'll be standing off the side. Uh. Just so they do that. Sure. I'll meet you outside once you're done. All right. Okay, you go to some of the bouncers. Go, you can go ahead and ask. Howdy, friends. What can you tell me about some of the people that you've had to throw out of here recently? Um, uh, I've been 
God. So more of those, like, cult people, but it's like, God, where are they? Like, Cygnus, I think? Or something? Mm. The real, like, real scumbag, like, uh, it was like KKK people. Oh, I know the type. You think you could describe them, you know, besides the skinhead aspect? Really, honestly, that's kind of nothing really signifying for them. They just kind of, I didn't really get a whole specific look, but it's like, you just tell from the get up that they're kind of trying to poke my nose in somewhere. Mm. Well, thank you for your time. Bobby will head outside. Wait for Elmas. Hear anything or just more than what we already knew? That's what we suspected. Cygnus was doing the hassling. Evidently, they have some idea of who stole from them. Oh, that's that's great. That's a good sign. Yeah. Oh, well. I'll drop you off back home. You and, uh, Ravia, come meet at the usual spot tomorrow. All right. I'll call Ashley and have them come as well. All right. So I think that probably concludes that night. Mm -hmm. you, or all three of you did something. Yep. Um, okay, so next day, uh, we'll start off with a another uh, downtime. So each of you get two. Uh, so Carnival, what is your uh, downtime action? Back to the drone mind. All right. So let's see. Let's see. You roll the three, five, and six, which I believe gets you four, or is it five? Let me double check. Let me see. Uh, yeah, whenever I fill a long-term project with involves Tinker Interface actions, that's a plus one to the segment. Uh, and then let me double and check the amounts. Minecraft, whenever you craft an item, tick, add an additional tick to any roll to increase progress. Okay, so it's plus four because you rolled a six, so that'd be plus six? Yes. Okay, I think that might have finished it out. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, and then that's it. That's it. Okay, so you have finished your drone. Guys, look! Or at least it's, hey, Aravia, look! Look what I've made now. Just, what? Just, like, shows off the drone, the, like, flying drone, camera drones. So, so I, hmm, because what I think would make sense, uh, and also so that you don't get the super powerful thing right off the bat, but I think it actually might make sense is that you get the camera bit of the drone, and you have to make another one for the flying bit. Oh, that's fine. That's what I was intending to next. Was anyway. It was going to be the like. It was really? going to be the like uh, spider crawling drones next. Anyway. Or look at this. Look at this shit. Just sits there. What? What? what what's it do? It's a camera. It's a drone camera. So that I when I make the mobi uh, the mobility attachment, we can have cameras around when we're investigating areas and search a, search a larger area without half. <laughs> Ravia just swats it off the table, no cameras. No! Nope. Nope cameras. Look, it's 70s material. It's made out of basically the shit that Nintendo made the Game Boy out of. It won't keep, it won't break. Just That's bounces off the, the wall and clatters on the ground. That's not the point. I spent hours. Last thing I need is a camera of me. Anyway, and so yeah, that's the next project. We're making the spider crawling drone bit. Okay, that's bit. A, Okay, so that's gonna be another Whatever the hell that. I'm gonna go ahead and just do the roll so again since we did the yeah, same I, thing. I gotta remember how I do these. Okay. Token. Yes, put it in the middle where I can't see it. Two side. And it starts with one, right? Let me look. Uh, no, it doesn't start with one, but I rolled. Let's see. You rolled a three, three, and a four. So that increases it by. Uh, you said a, a four, right? Is there four or five in there? No, there's a four. It's four. Okay, so it's three plus five, or three plus two, so it's five. All right. I just want to fly flying bits. Oops. Um, no. Then choose side five. There we go. Okay, there's your two. Uh, DM. Um, uh, three actions. Okay. Gonna be gonna be training, but not Bobby this time. It's gonna be Haley this time. Okay. Put two into the skulker. Bring up five. And one to the marksman. Okay, so Haley's now has Haley's. You said Haley reached five, right? Yeah. Okay, so did you want to give her her new ability? Let's see. I saw it. So you gave her close clear. Yeah. Uh, passive when undetected or un and or not watched. All intellect and cunning actions take plus one effect. 
Okay, and that's good. Or is that everything you're doing? Yep. Okay, Torpo. I uh, just gonna have Queen train twice. Okay, that works. Uh, uh, did she hit anything noteworthy? Yes, actually, she hit. Uh, got another level in the rogue. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have her take. Uh, informed informant. Assistant, get a contact who is familiar with criminal activity going on in the city and around the area. Okie doke. Why are these, why are your checkboxes so tiny? I don't know, why are yours so big, bitch? Why are they tiny? What? <laughs> yeah, I don't know yeah. why, are they, why are they tiny. Both my sheets have tiny boxes. Look, don't make fun of them, okay? They're very sensitive about it. Okay, here's the, here's the, if I do, does that change what? There you go. Beginning my boxes. Oh, I, there you go. There's at least, Got queens back. I'll do a Ravius later. Uh, anyway, so now that you have more information, it is a new day. How do you plan? So how do you want to start this day? I figure we were all going to meet up and give our information. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I guess I'll start out. Uh, you'll bring or you'll get uh, Ash over. Well, first we need to describe the usual place. All right. So the usual place... It's a warehouse belonging to sleep, shower, and sofa. A bed pack and beyond knockoff owned by a consortium member. Okay. The warehouse has two noble things about it. One is it has a door that's like hidden off the street for people coming and going. Wow, a door. And, this, and the second one is this area set up towards the back of the warehouse that's like a, for test displays and stuff. Uh-huh. Uh, so it's just full of furniture. Yeah, it's just like sofas and beds set up. <laughs> That's where the meeting's being held. All right. So you all go to your... You're all sitting in a mock-up of a conversation pit. <laughs> of course, it's a conversation pit. Uh, complete with bowl of paper fruit. You, you can tell fruit. us as a, a people, our society is on the decline due to the lack of conversation pits. Um... Okay, so you're all around there. Uh, so Ash is there. And is... Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot this in my recap, but Bobby had asked Ash to see if they had any leads on any Cygnus bases. Oh right. Um. Okay. Um. Anyway. Yeah. Bobby just says, "Howdy, friends. Did y'all have a good night?" I mean, I got to harass some nerds, so I mean, it could have been worse. Mm. I don't think they'll let me in that dive ever again, though. I'm sure you're just broken up about that. I'm honestly shocked they let me in the second time. Mm. So, what what did y'all figure out? Uh, a few things. Did uh, Elmas show you the, the goo? No, actually. I got shown a dumb little camera. Oh, show her the goo. Yep, he brings out the stuff. Mm. Either of you know what this is? Okay, I need to look at a rough here. Gonna wait for uh, Lola to figure this out. Okay, I just wanted to double check to make sure what your ability. Let me fix okay, all these, but yeah, <clears throat> uh, none of them really matter at this point. No, I mean, I, I guess I, I figure prepared for this might might be relevant. Uh, uh, which is passive. You have a base level understanding of supernatural links from our world to other planes, and supernatural beings are more likely to be cooperative. Okay, so that doesn't with what it is at the moment. It's not. Uh, okay, that, or well, that that does not that would not trick. Either way, I'm I'm gonna grab some of it, look at it close, and sniff it a little bit, see if I can catch a whiff of some shit. Um, uh, you kind of as you kind of roll with it in your fingers, uh, and just kind of sniff it. Um, the best description of what you feel is that something with it feels tingly, Ew. like very mildly tingly. Did it tingle when Elmas touched it? No. Hmm. Mm, I'm gonna. How about I make an investigate roll to see if I can glean a better understanding? Okay. Uh, so in that case, uh, it's controlled. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to say with what, since it's residue of something, uh, I'm going to say it's limited. Okay. Uh, uh oh. So you can said controlled and limited? Uh, controlled limited, yeah. <clears throat> okay. So I'm assuming I would benefit from Beacon, which is you're always aware of supernatural entities and presence and where of you. Take plus one D whenever you gather information about the supernatural. Uh, I'll give that to you. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. Everything else relates to researching shit. Okay. Well, that'll be three dice then. Okay. Three, three, four. Uh, so as you're looking at it, 
you can definitely tell that it is something. You can tell that it's something extra planar. What it is, you have no idea. Okay. Uh, that is at least the outcome. If you want to attempt to resist to force it to be uh, give you a little bit more information. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, so roll a resist. That would be... Uh, so in Aravia's case, that would be... Two. Uh, so five and two, which that means... So you take one stress? Yeah. Yeah, it's one stress. Because six, if you roll the six, then it's nil. Okay. So as you kind of focus a little bit more on it, um, you can tell that this... You kind of, like... As you're kind of rolling... Like, you take another sample of it. And you kind of notice that there's something that's like there's dirt, but then there's something that's like a little particle of something that almost feels crystalline. Oh, fuck. Like there's something that like catches the light at just the right angle that sparkles. Okay. Okay, everyone. <clears throat> this shit's clearly not good. So already funny tingling. Definitely, definitely supernatural. And there seems to be some crystals mixed in within the dirt. Bobby just fixes his damn. And I'm Great. worried they may be fucking with something. But also, yeah, did Ashley know anything about this? Uh, Ashley just kind of looking at it. It was, it was like, kind of, like, not sure what's going on. Uh, as a quick reminder, self colonies are crystalline, correct? Uh, yes. Okay. It's made of people. I'm, I'm hoping it's not what I'm worried about, but it could have something to do with the sylphs, which, not cool. Not cool. Hmm. Well, but yes, we found that where they were storing Elysium, and also we got some confirmation. Apparently, Cygnus were the ones who were hostile in the Cassiopeians around the club. Uh actually, that's that's interesting because I learned uh that this is a theft of a theft. Oh, Cygnus stole it from Orion. Ah, right. well, that would track the filth, then, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. Bobby looks at Ashley and says. Quite the mess your people have gotten in. So you want to run that by me? What's what's going on? Your boys are mixed in with some bad shit. Uh, basically, this dirt here, this funny shit, got some crystals in it. Some we'll say extra planar supernatural crystals, which like nobody else here could could get. But I I understand these things. Y'all are just weird. But either way, my worry, Aravia. Look, I'm sorry you don't get it. It's, it's not your fault you were born wrong. But either way, there seems to be some crystals mixed in this shit. If you if you look at it in a certain light, and Ravia starts moving it in her hand to try to catch the light just right. So, signs point to maybe, maybe ground up self crystal or something like that. And it makes sense because this shit your people stole, they stole from Cygnus, but Cygnus stole from Orion. You've heard the rumors of Orion dabble experimenting on the fairy folk, correct? Yeah, so what you're thinking is that whatever Elysium was left this dirt behind, and what we're thinking Elysium might be some sort of fairy shit? Yeah. What matters most, though, is your boys are in some deep shit. They fucked with the it wrong people who fucked with the wrong people. <laughs> Which, speaking but of... Did you find any leads on a potential Cygnus base? Yeah, I I got a couple ideas on where some might be, but I kind of want to hold on to that for a second. Now, you're saying that Cygnus and Orion, or Cygnus stole from Orion. That's that's what I heard. It's an interesting play then, because those two should be allied, so power play? Sometimes people inside do dumb shit. But also, they could have different feelings on different... They are doomsday cultists and white supremacists. There's a bit of a conflict there. I suppose. But, yeah. Um, they just kind of look a little pensive. Just thinking of, like, well, first off, I kind of want to track down who is the one that stole it or from our side, just to kind of get some information. Apparently, yeah. it wasn't a regular. Uh, we do know one thing. It was someone in Centauri. Which, that would make sense, considering their... They're kind of our version of Orion. Mm, so someone it. from Cassiopeia brings it to someone in Centaurus, which they got from Cygnus, who got it from Orion. Yeah, it's some uh, real, real web of shit you got there. Yeah. Uh, and now I'm hearing that people are getting either kidnapped or hurt from this. Yeah, and somehow not by me. That is what Elmas heard, yes. 
which means that one should probably figure out how recent and the question is do we stop the do we kind of stop this like what tail do we we have a double-ended tail of this one if this elysium is some sort of fairy thing um probably up to no good if it was originally orion uh even if i don't know exactly what it is them having something is probably not good so we have the tail end of what was it and then on the other end where is it and who stole it and what yeah it's quite the pickle and i'm firmly of the stance that we should figure out who stole it first and then start working our way from there yes which about that of all the potential Cygnus hideouts that you found out, which one do you think is the most likely? That's the thing. At this point, I don't know. I got three. Though, the right now, what I kind of think of, since we don't know exactly what it looks like, we know that it probably had some dirt in it, um, but so does a lot of things. If we were to raid, my concern about raiding, as fun it is to crack some skulls, especially those shitheads, um, we can only do one at a time. And, uh... If we do one, it's not going to take long for the others to figure out and get into a real panic. Well, here's what I'm thinking. Give me the three addresses. I've got some other people who I can have investigate those locations and see what they turn up. They when kind of the look to comes... you. And when the time comes to raid, we'll let you know. And in the meantime, we, he waves a finger around the room, will continue investigating things on the friendly side. We have yet to speak to anyone from Centauri, so that would probably be our next stop. Probably not the worst idea. Um, who have you talked to on, on Cassiopeia? So? Uh, your man, Reese, the club manager, Ember, and those two college kids that Reese brought in. So far, that's it. Oh, and also, our obvious friends down at the hole. Um, yeah, I don't know exactly how much Ember would know, but... Oh, wait, they did give us a business card for a, uh, Byron? Apparently, they're the ones that oversee the Cassiopeia's stash at the Dancing Queen. Uh, Byron. Uh, that might be... Uh, Byron, Byron. I wonder if that... Oh, that must be... Um, that must be... By, which tab do I have? Uh, okay. That must be Byron... Uh, Byron Nielsen. Um, yeah, he's... Uh, he and his wife uh, are Cassiopeia. Uh, they're leaders of a group. Uh, so I bet you, yeah, they're the, probably the one that... Uh, Goes into Dancing Queen. Uh, he's been kind of... I actually haven't really heard much of them now that I think about it. Mm. Well, it's something to look into. How about Centaur? But yes, how about Centauri? Do you have any people that we could talk to there? Um, at the top of my head, not really. They're kind of... They're a little bit more of a elusive group. Uh, they kind of... You must, but you must have someone. You guys have to contact each other, of course. Yeah, I'm just trying to think. Uh, I probably have someone. Let me, uh, they kind of pull out a notebook. Um, let's, okay, which one of you are going to get transferred over to, you know what? Okay, you. Uh, yeah, um, here, maybe this might be a person, uh, the guy's name is Leland. Leland who? Uh, Leland Free. Um, how'd you know? Um, I'm really do, I'm trying to avoid a Stuart Griffin situation again. Leland Bell. All right. Uh, who, exactly, who are they exactly? Uh, he got. I think he works at some computer company, but um, actually, I think he works at that uh, uh it's that robotics firm. Uh, one of the ones that are in the city. Anthrobo, I think. Yeah. Oh, those guys. No, not again. Ugh. That didn't happen in this timeline. No, this is. Uh, they denied me an internship. Oh. Said I oh, that's was. A shame. Said I was too radical in designs. My prototypes were too expensive. To be fair, oh. you're not the one keeping your household afloat. Fair. Your hobbies are very expensive. God, also, I know this because your what? What is it? Girlfriend keeps complaining, and I have to listen. Look. Yes, it doesn't make. Yeah. Yes. Do the electric bill spikes every few days? But that. But the landlord. Never has is a never compl is never complaining when I'm able to fix fix all the 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 entire apartment's complex's internet and save them money for faster download speeds. Also, as an aside, I like the fact that because I, I I noticed that I forgot we had the ad hoc channel and I'm just looking back and then I was like, 
Oh, right. I did use those names, or like the last time we used those names in 2022. <laughs> I'll, I'll, look, Elmis, it doesn't help that your landlord is terrified of me, and I'm usually the one answering the door. That is true. Either way, though, we got some leads to move on, at least. Yeah. Did you write down those three address signature addresses for me quick? Uh, yeah, I got them right here, and they hand it to you. All right, thank you. I guess with that, a meeting adjourned. We all got, know what we got to do. I need to go make a call quick. All right. All right. And for this next bit, Lolo, I'll direct you to the, the consortium Google Doc. Uh, it's pinned. Okay. I look for the good bean. Okay. Look for the good bean? Yes. Oh, okay, just I to, see it. And just to double check to, for Carnival and Torpid. Because this is going to involve... Uh, Lupa, Claudia and uh, Queen, is that fine? Yeah. Yeah. And I figured it would be. All right. So Bob, all right, you ready, Lil? Yep. All right. Bobby puts in a call to the good bean. All right. Uh, yep, how can I take your order? Yes, hello. I'd like to place an order for some exotic blends. Uh, yeah. What kind of blends are you looking for? I'm looking for one order of the Queen blend, the Nightshade blend, and the Lupin blend. Uh-huh. All right. Um, got gotcha. you written down for that. Um, I like to send them to three different places and give all right. them the address. All right. And for, and for uh, the packaging, I'd like the gang to know them bundle. All right. Uh, that works for me. Uh, thank you. Hang on. Yep. Previous episodes of Hazeltown Story can be found at BeKindRewind.Hazeltown or Radio.Hazeltown. If you would like to know more about the universe and have an interest in video games, you can watch Lola the Puzzles Journal, our sister show, that can be found at theater.hazel.town or bekindrewind.hazel.town. If you would like to keep up to date with Lolo, you can follow them at Coast or Blue Sky at Lola the Puzzle. There is also a Discord server in which you can potentially catch episodes being recorded live at club.hazel.town. Thank you for listening to Hazeltown Story. I welcome you to come back for more.